Let the doors be opened. Who comes in the name of the Lord? Mr. Dean and the people of the Diocese of Ararat. We come from the Diocese of Lochra to present to you Gary, who has been our friend and our bishop for the last ten years. We entrust him to you as he comes to serve as your bishop, and we pray that you will love and support him in the ministry of Christ's Holy Church. Sisters and brothers in Christ, welcome. Thank you for accompanying Bishop Gary. We, the people of the Ballarat Diocese, pray for you as you continue to minister to Christ's Holy Church in the Diocese of Warakla. May God bless you. I, Gary, by divine providence called to be Bishop of Ballarat, come to this, my cathedral church, and I ask that the people of God join their prayers to mine, that I may be to them a faithful pastor and true father in God, and that together we may serve him faithfully through Jesus Christ our Lord, to the honour and glory of his name and the good of the Holy Catholic Church. Right Reverend Father in God, we welcome you most gladly in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, we greet you. Further, I ask that I may be canonically inducted, installed and enthroned according to law and custom with all the rights, dignities, honours and responsibilities appertaining to this sacred office. Right Reverend Father in God, we willingly undertake so to do. It shall be our joyful care to pray continually for you, our Bishop, beseeching God of his mercy to grant you in the government of Christ's church and the oversight of his flock the spirit of power and love and discipline. And may the Lord preserve your coming in and your going out from this time forth and forevermore. Alleluia. <laughs>
I acknowledge we are moving on country which the Wathaurong are the traditional owners of this land and their ancestors have been custodians for thousands of years on which they have performed age-old culture, ceremonies, celebration, initiation and renewal. I acknowledge and pay respect to the Wathaurong Balag ancestors, past and present, and their living culture and their ongoing role in the life of this country. We do not own the land. The land owns us. Therefore, we must care to provide us and our generation of children a future, along with the flora, fauna and aquatic life. Values that keep us healthy and strong for day-to-day -day living. The law of the land is the very heart of our existence and culture. That is what land means to us. Within this, my, within this meeting lies a great respect for the land and to understand it is vital to maintain a holistic relationship with country. So walk on her gently and treat her with respect. Now, Wadakai, Kailu, Wadaron, Mayrun. Welcome to Wadaron Country. Thank you. Let the certificate of election now be read. The Diocese of Ballarat, Board of Electors. We, the undersigned members of the Board of Electors, to certify that at a meeting of the Diocese Board of Electors held at Ararat, Victoria, on Wednesday the 18th of May 2001, the Right Reverend Gary John Weatherall, Bishop of Wallachtra, was duly elected in accordance with Section 7 of the Ballarat Bishopric Act to be the 10th Bishop of Ballarat, and we do hereby report this election to the Administrator, dated the 18th of May 2001, and signed by all the members of the Election Board. Let the Certificate of Confirmation now be read. Whereas we, Philip, Archbishop of Melbourne and Metropolitan of the Ecclesiastical Province of Victoria, have informed the bishops of the province that the Right Reverend Gary John Weatherall, Bachelor of Arts, Honours, Diploma of Education, Bachelor of Theology, has been elected to be Bishop of the Diocese of Ballarat in accordance with the provisions of an Act of the Diocese of Ballarat entitled Ballarat Bishopric Act 1988, amended by the, Ballarat's, uh, by the Bishop's Appointment Act and vacancy of the Sea Act 1992. Now we, Philip, Archbishop of Melbourne and Metropolitan of the Ecclesiastical Province of Victoria, do hereby, under our hand and seal, con confirm pursuant to the canonical fitness of, of Bishop's Ordination Acceptance Act 1980, that the Right Reverend Gary John Weatherall is elected as the Bishop of Ballarat. Given under our hand an Episcopal seal this 10th day of June in the year of our Lord 2011 and in the 12th year of our consecration and the 5th year of our translation and signed, signed Bishop, Archbishop Philip. Let the declarations be made. sincerely believe the Catholic faith and I give my assent to the doctrine of the Anglican Church of Australia as expressed in the Book of Common Prayer and the ordering of bishops, priests and deacons and the articles of religion as acknowledged in section 4 of the Constitution and I believe that doctrine to be agreeable to the word of God. I declare my assent to the fundamental declarations of the Anglican Church of Australia as set out in sections one, two and three of the Constitution. In public prayer and administration of the sacraments, I will use the form prescribed in the Book of Common Prayer or a form authorised by lawful authority and none other. I, Gary John Wetherill, Bishop in the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church of God, 
do solemnly and sincerely declare my acceptance of the Constitution of the Anglican Church of Australia in Victoria, as it is set forth in the Act of 18 Victoriae, number 45, commonly known as the Church Constitution Act, and the Act to amend the same, passed in the 36th year of the reign of Her Majesty Queen Victoria, and numbered 454, that I will, to the best of my ability, give effect thereto, and to the acts passed in pursuance thereof, until the same or any of them shall respectively be lawfully altered or varied. Gary, our right reverend father in God, having welcomed you in the name of the Lord to this cathedral church of Christ the King, I now ask you to declare that you will observe the statutes and customs of this cathedral church and diocese and preserve its liberties of worship and ministry. I, Gary John Wetherill, to be enthroned Bishop of Ballarat, do solemnly declare that I will respect, maintain and defend the rights, privileges and liberties of this cathedral church and diocese and preside with truth, justice and charity. All this I will do, the Lord being my helper.